Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got this right triangle whose area is 1944 and the parameter is 216 and now we are going to find its side lengths A, B and C. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half time base time height. In our case, our base is A and our height is B. And our given area is 1944. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So we got 1944 equal to a half time our base is A and our height is B. Let's go ahead and remove this uh, fraction by multiplying by 2 on both sides and now we can see that this 2 and 2 is gone so we got A times B equals to 2 times 1944 is going to give us 3888 and now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number one and here's our next step let's talk about the perimeter of this triangle and we know that the perimeter is equal to the sum of all of its side lengths and our side lengths are a b c and our given perimeter is 216 so I can write this one as A plus B plus C equal to 216. Now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 2 and here's our next step since we are dealing with this right triangle so therefore let's recall the Pythagorean theorem a square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and write down A square plus B square equal to C square. Now let me go ahead and call this as an equation number three. And now we got these three equations as you can see. And now we are going to solve for A, B and C. And here's our next step. Let's recall this well-known formula a plus b square equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Now let's recall this equation number 2. If I move this c on the other side, this a plus b equal to 216 minus c. So therefore, this A plus B I am going to replace by 216 minus C and this A square plus B square I am going to replace it by C square. So I'm going to replace it by C square and here A times B I am going to replace it by 3888 so therefore I can write this one 216 minus C whole square equal to C square plus 2 times 3888 and now let's go ahead and expand this binomial on this left hand side by using this formula so this could be written as 216 square minus 2 times 216 times C and then plus C square and on the right hand side I can write C square plus 2 times 3888 is going to become 7, 7, seven six and here's our next step once we took care of this square of 216 and multiplied these one out now we can see this c square on this side and this c square they cross each other out and now let's go ahead and subtract 7,700 
176 from both sides. They are gone. So we ended up with 38880 minus 432 C equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and move this uh, 432 C on the other side. And now let's go ahead and divide both sides by 432 on this side and 432 on this side to isolate C. So this is gone. So our C value, if we divide this one, turns out to be 90. So our side C turns out to be 90. And here's our next step. Let's recall this equation 2, A plus B plus C equal to 216 and we know that our C value turns out to be 90. So I can write A plus B plus 90 equal to 216. Now let's go ahead and subtract 90 from both sides. This is gone. So our A plus B value turns out to be 126. Let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 4. And now let's focus on this equation 1, which I just wrote down A times B equal to 3888. Let me go ahead and divide both sides by A. Divide by this side A as well. So A and A is gone. So our B value turns out to be 3888 8, 8 divided by A. And now let's plug it in this B equal to value 388 8 divided by A in this equation 4. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So A plus B, I'm going to replace it by this one 3888 8, 8 divided by A equal to 126 and here's our equation let's go ahead and solve for a first of all we want to remove this fraction so let's go ahead and multiply by a across the board so this a time a is going to become a square plus this a and a is gone so we got 3888 8, 8 equal to 126 a and now let's move this 126 a on the left hand side so we got this quadratic equation a square minus 126 a plus 3888 equal to 0 and now we are going to solve it by factoring so in order to find the factors let's focus on this constant part 3888 i have just copied it down now we know that this number is divisible by 8 according to this divisibility by 8 rule. A number is divisible by 8 if its last three digits are divisible by 8. And the rest of these factors are pretty simple. So we found out the factors of 3888 as 8, 6, 9 and 9. Now we can easily see that 8 times 9 is 72 and 6 times 9 is 54. So thus our factors turn out to be a 72 and 54. If we add these two numbers, we are going to get 126, which is right here. And if we multiply them, we are going to get 3,888, which is this number. So thus our factors turn out to be A minus 54 times A minus 72 equal to 0. And now let's go ahead and separate them. A minus 54 equal to 0. And this one A minus 72 equal to 0. So our A value turns out to be 54. And here our A value is 72. 
And here's our final step. We got a equals to 54 on this side and we already figured out c equals to 90 and our other value of a is 72 and I put down c equals to 90 as well. And here's our equation number two. Let's go ahead and uh, fill in the blanks to find the value of b. Our a value is 54 plus b plus c is 90 equal 216. And finally, we figured out our b a value as 72. So in this case, our a value is 54, b value is 72, and c value is 90. And now let's focus on the other value of a, which is 72. C value is 90. And now we are going to plug it in A and C value in this uh, equation 2 to find the value of B. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. 72 plus B plus 90 equal to 216. So finally we figured out our B value as 54. So thus in this case, our A value is 72, B value is 54, and our C value is 90. So thus here are our two sets of values for A, B, and C. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.